I'm going to go and tour the Northwest Territories, essentially, in November. Northwest Territories up in Canada, yeah. like yeah. up by Alaska. Yeah. Are yeah. there a lot of people there? Yeah, no. <laughs> it's going to be very remote. So you really are? Yeah, yeah. Um, are you going, is it like a missions trip? I don't think so. There's a promoter up there who does a lot of big events up there, and uh, I'd always have wanted to go up to the territories. I would actually like to film it and have it be my live tour. Really? Yeah, I mean, if we did it closer to the summer, we would actually, he was like, dude, we could literally get on a boat and you, to get from one village to another. You'd have to get on a boat, like take a 12 hour boat ride. Yeah, I really do feel like you should film this. Yeah, movie. if I film it, that's like, a, that's, a, that's, that's PBS stuff right there. Yeah, it's either that or, or who knows? You have your own reality show of that. <laughs> well, we do need more reality shows. I know. Did. It's oh, perfect. Okay. <laughs> so have you ever been there before? No, no, no. So you just fun. thought about it and been like, that's where I want to go? Oh, yeah, I think it would be yeah, pretty, pretty amazing. So do you enjoy but, some of the things that they have in places like that, like the fishing and the, I don't know, I guess they make fires. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> do you like that stuff? I've seen fire before. <laughs> on TV they I've make I've heard, fire. I've seen that they thing fishing. they call fire on TV. <laughs> I, do I like the, I, I like being around fishing. I bought a fishing pole to just sit by a lake. I actually haven't caught anything. I live by a lake. I have yet to catch anything. Oh, really? But I like to have a reason to sit by the yeah. lake. <laughs> it's, I've always been intrigued with really remote areas, and so I think that um, that's what kind of was always like, man, what is up there? Like, yeah. 14 hours north of pretty much anything. You know, you have these little tiny towns, and you're just like, you know, I wonder, wonder what goes on. I, I think I liked little oases when I was little. Like my favorite was like little towns in the middle of nowhere, but you had just enough. Perfect, because that's where we are right now. No, this town doesn't have Even enough. Even littler. Well, this town, this town, it could be little, but you gotta have a few key elements. You know, I'm not saying the territories are gonna have this, but right. good cup of coffee, a couple good restaurants, maybe. I can't wait to talk to you after you do this. <laughs> it's like if you give me a place where I can get a good cup of coffee and sit for a few hours, give me a place where I can go watch a movie. You know, I'm talking like a little mountain town. Mm -hmm. Really vibe, great vibe, great energy. Wow. You know what I'm talking about. All right, well, what else are you doing? I, I, I believe you have some new tunes sometime. I do. I got worked on a new album and uh, new uh, new songs coming out, yeah. Yeah? Let's see, well, I wrote a story about a show, uh, a crazy show I had in Pennsylvania. So. Oh, yeah? It's called Town Folk. Everything is like back to this. I was in this little town. No, no, this one is, is legit. I'm doing it tonight. Really? Yeah, it was crazy. It was, I mean, literally, like, I showed up. Guy calls me, books the show. I'm like, cool, go to Pennsylvania. Yeah. He's like, you know, and it's like, you know, where's it at? I don't recognize the name. So, you know, it's not Philadelphia. It's not Pittsburgh, not Harrisburg, not Lancaster. I drive through the town, and there's a lot of other things. I won't go into great detail. It's not all the crazy turns of events, but I get there, and there's like middle of nowhere, this big open field with like five people standing there looking real awkward some guy up there doing something and I look at him like I'm like wait a minute he's like oh this is it and it was like some outrageous ticket price for me like I look I think I'm good but not like 25 30 dollars a ticket good right you know that's that's uh that's um Dave Matthews money you know what I mean like that's not John Rubin money so I roll in I get to the town so I get in there and I'm like, man, and there's like crazy events. So I was like, you know, there's this little place, probably about this big, it looks like it's straight out of some crazy like colonial war film. It's like this little shack and uh, there's no windows. I walk in and the promoter's just standing there. He's sitting there. The promoter looks at me, he goes, he goes, we did everything we could. He goes, we put posters all over the town. Yesterday I went all over the town putting posters. I'm like, this town has 300 people. You probably don't have no idea who I am for a $30 show. And he goes, he goes, and then the town folk said that you're bringing the devil to their town. And they started tearing your posters down and revolting. They said the sheriff chased you out of town last time you were here. I'm like, Wait, what, 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 is, what is this like? Is this like 1865? Like, does the sheriff chase? Who chases anybody out of town? Like, we're at the we're at the border. It's your it's your job. The next town, you handle this guy's this, this character. So I was like, 
man. So I'm hanging out there just looking at feeling really bad. There's like two people who paid the money and I'm like, why in the world did you pay this much money to see me? Like, I'm feeling real awkward, real, real insecure. And the, and the, the guys go, sound system comes up, the guy from the sound system goes, hey, we heard we're not getting paid, so we're tearing it down. There's a storm coming. So the storm's coming. Oh, They're yanking their PA down. I'm just kind of standing there, like, standing in the rain. And I was like, uh, you know, I was like, let's, let's get out of here. So I was like, <laughs> it was like wow. this crazy epic moment. So I wrote a song called Tafo. It's great. So did, you, did you actually, did you play for them? Or no, you never we even could. Got a chance to play. I couldn't even play. They tore the sound system down. <laughs> I'm standing there, and the guy is literally like screaming at the heavens, like, like, why are you doing this to me, God? And, like kicking the. Wow. Like all that. I'm leaving out a lot of crazy details. Yeah. For fear that you know, if it was this town, this guy might see it. But it was bizarre. That sounds really. It was like bizarre. the most bizarre thing I'd ever done, and I've done some weird shows. Christian rap games really weird, and so I'm telling you, I've done bizarre. Worked with some very weird people. This was by far the, like, takes the, just because the whole surrounding, you know what I mean? I like, the town folk. <laughs> it's like, the town folk. <laughs> they were tearing my poster down and revolting. Like, I had this, maybe just the vision was better than the actual story. I don't know. But I just had a vision of, like, people with pitchforks and, like, really Amish-looking folks. Just like, ah! You know, like, burn them out the stake. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm glad that you're able to live through it and write a song about it. And like, you seem like you're in an emotionally stable and healthy place. Oh no, I got a great song. Yeah. I'm hoping to make the money up that I didn't get for the yeah. show by selling the song. <laughs> well, we wish you the best yeah. in that. Well, pray for me. So. I like money. You know what I mean? <laughs> John Rim, it's, it's just it's always been fun. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thanks for having me. That's my time. Thanks, guys. Yeah. <laughs>